what's going on everyone um i just had one big major thing on my mind have you ever noticed that things have changed dramatically post 2020 we had that big situation that was going on worldwide I remember, you know, before people were closer, um, you know, people were going to parties, get togethers. It seems like we were more connected. I mean, as connected as you could be in this digital age, because things in the two, in the 2000s is definitely different from the 1990s and before. But it just seems that after 2020, everything just changed everything just changed it's like now people are so disconnected even more um people are more isolated it doesn't help that you know vr is now a thing where people can live their fantasies or live in a different world there's more access to this great escapism you know not to mention that everything is more expensive by a big margin people can barely afford things to eat people don't own anything anymore people are unsure of the future and i think you know 2019 and 2020 that situation that happened really did a psychological number on a lot of people that people either don't realize or people don't come to terms with because I think now, more so in America, I can't speak for any other um, country or society. People have lost all faith in a lot of um, politicians, a lot of governing bodies, because things were said of, of a particular situation one way, where it, in reality it wasn't. And the situation, the, the interaction between people in general during that time period, it's almost as if that world was kind of a a fever dream in a way. Because no one is, you know, wearing masks anymore. No one is distancing themselves and whatnot. And it's kind of crazy how, you know, two years ago or four years ago, three, or three to four years ago, the world was a completely different place. And I think that, you know, destroyed a lot of businesses, destroyed a lot of people, and it's just not talked about. And I think when you couple that with technology, certain types of technology, it's kind of insidious in a way because Certain things come out and then it's forgotten. Certain things come out and then it's forgotten. And people just move on because people are trying to hold on to life or to trying to play the game of life, I guess you would say. And what we have to hold on to is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And we have to fight harder and harder and harder to keep that little bit of, I guess you would say, livelihood. So we don't really pay attention to what's going on around us. And, you know, people don't stop to smell the proverbial roses, I guess, you know, because they're too busy fighting to survive, you know, fighting to make it to the next rung in society. And, you know, the middle class and upper class is getting wider and wider. I think it was the biggest transfer of wealth in the longest time. And now it seems like worldwide prices of certain goods like chocolate, rice, um, meat, poultry, and other things are getting more expensive. It seems like we're going to be on, we, we are at the pre precipice of a big financial crash, probably worse than what happened in a way. And, you know, it's, it's pretty scary. Cause I was watching this video, you know, and, um, this guy was like, Hey, you know, back in the day when he was younger, he could see himself being 25, what he's been doing in 25. But what about now? Cause for sure, when I was, you know, in college, you know, I thought I was going to be in the medical field. I thought um, I was going to have kids and all this other stuff. And fast forward, 
thinking five years from now, 10 years from now, I don't know what's going to happen. We might have a world war. I think personally, for sure, we're going to have a big economic collapse. I'm trying to be a pessimist, but I just think it's true. And it's just worrying, especially for the kids in the next generation is like, what type of planet, what type of society, what type of people are we going to leave for them by the time everything is said and done? Because there's only a certain extent to where greed can run rampant, you know, things, whether that's energy or money or resources, lives can get extracted for profit and stuff like that. It's just, I just think that the way that we're going as a society is unsustainable and the chickens are going to come back to roost, you know? I don't mean to be all pessimistic and doom and gloom, but it's just kind of things that, you know, I guess modern people in the West or perhaps in the world in general don't think about, you know? We're so busy in the rat race, we don't really think about the future or to the people to our sides. It's every man for himself, every woman for himself. And I get it. But I think overall, as human beings, as we progress, we lose sight of community, communication, human touch, um, really being, I wouldn't say being one with the planet, but being in tune with the earth and what it has to offer, what nature has to offer, what bonds have to offer, because humans are fundamentally communi um, community animals. We're, we're, we're animals of, I forgot the word, the word is escaping me right now, but we're instinctively and foundationally creatures of community. We need each other. We can't live we, we go crazy if we don't have some type of bond with another human being. But I think the way that we're progressing, you know, we're stepping further and further away from that. But that's pretty much what's just on my mind. What do you guys think about this? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And until next time, bye. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.